Hey, I'm Sarah, this is Abby, and welcome to Aswool Unlimited. If you're new here, I'm a scuba instructor and I moved into my van in 2021 after losing my dive shop in Indonesia due to shutdowns. I've been on the road diving around the US, Canada, and Mexico for the last two years, teaching on YouTube along the way. Well, hello, I am currently editing the video you're about to watch, and this seems to be the recurring workflow that I have for these videos. But I'm just here to tell you that I have expeditions going on and Patty courses as well. So if you wanna take a course from me, or if you wanna join me in Komodo, Baja, or Socorro, head to my website, see the details, send me an email. I'd love to dive with you. Let's get into the video. Buenos dias. Today, plans have changed. I was gonna go for my last cave dive of this trip, but my buddy got sick. Friendly reminder to all of you, whenever you're traveling or really just as a diver in general, don't sleep with the air conditioning on. It messes with your sinuses, just don't do it. I've been scrambling to find plan B for the day because I would rather not spend it on my computer working even though I have a ton of work to do, but I'm gonna go cavern diving with some friends. Lily. It's this, right? That we're like, yeah. that's- Even if you look left and right now, Yeah. it's Jesus. heartbreaking. Look. Jesus. Yeah, it has destroyed. Uh. They go to like, what, eight meters on the ground? Yeah. Those. Jesus. That makes me so sad. My last cavern dive in Mexico is in Cenote Maravilla a gorgeous deep dive site north of Playa del Carmen. It has similar characteristics to El Pit and Angelita, plus it has some interesting bell formations, which reminded me a lot of Cenote Zapote. All four of these cenotes are beautiful and worth a visit whenever you can make it to the Riviera Maya. Start slowly Maya. going down. We go closer to the wall to have some kind of reference as well. And we start dropping down. <laughs> I'm struggling to figure out what to say in this video. I look at this footage and see one of the most magnificent water environments in the world. I'm so late to this conversation that I'm a little embarrassed to even say anything. And that's the sentiment I heard from many people in the area right now, that it just feels too late. We can't do anything. But as I was diving, the reality of the future of these places kept stabbing me in the heart. I feel like I have no power. What's the point? But even if this is just me screaming into the void of the internet, I have to try. I have to do something. The cenotes, which are freshwater sinkholes, are located in the Yucatan and Riviera Maya, and they're unlike any other cave system in the world. They provide homes to countless creatures in the ecosystem and drinking water to the entire zone. They are unique, precious, and fragile in a society that refuses to recognize the limits of capitalism. You may be thinking, Sarah, what the heck are you talking about? The Mayan train, or Tren Maya in Espanol, is a huge project taken on by the government to boost the economy, create more jobs, and connect urban and rural areas. In the execution of this project, construction has destroyed thousands of acres of jungle, and they have drilled into fragile cenote systems. Environmentalists have fought the project the entire way, stating the government rushed the steps without taking the appropriate regulatory measures for testing environmental impact. Construction videos posted by local activists paint a horrific picture of the destruction and the beginnings of water contamination. The construction ripped apart cave formations that have been there for thousands of years and pouring cement for the train infrastructure further complicates the long-term environmental impact. 
If you want to see the videos posted by activists in the area, you can find a list of names and websites in the description below. Taking all of these factors aside, another terrifying realization is that they've built this huge structure over unstable land. I feel like a collapse is inevitable, and whether it's above or below ground will determine the amount of publicity the accident will provoke. I also keep thinking about how terrifying the sounds will be for anyone diving in the caves around this train. Aside from poor infrastructure, this train will open up areas of Quintana Roo, Yucatan, Campeche, Tabasco, and Chiapas, some of which have been protected from the double-edged sword that is tourism development. Communities and cultures will be affected by this, and I honestly don't think for the better. Now, during my time here, I didn't get to dive in the affected areas. However, I did see the impact of general tourism development on a popular cenote system called Taj Maha. Back when I lived in Playa del Carmen, that cavern system was one of the more popular locations for recreational divers. However, when I followed the cavern line on my way to one of its caves, I was shocked to see the layer of grime covering the surface of the water, and apparently that grime hasn't budged for quite some time. The development of the area reminds me of similar environmental atrocities that were happening when I lived in the Riviera Maya. Mangroves were cleared for coastline development, and now people wonder why beaches are disappearing. Everything is connected. The freshwater system that flows beneath the jungle in the Riviera Maya is essential for life, and my heart breaks every time I see greed win over conservation. Tourism is so healthy in this area of Mexico because of the natural beauty. If we destroy nature, tourism will collapse. Again, I feel like I can't do much with these little videos, but if I can convince just one person to refrain from buying tickets for the Mayan train, I'll take it. The project went horrifically over budget, and it seems the only impactful action we can take at this point is to boycott the train. Again, I've listed activist groups in the description, so please check them out and share their posts. Also, if you have contacts or projects that could use support in this fight, please list them in the comments below. Finally, I want to say thank you. I know these types of videos are not popular on social media, so if you've made it this far, I really appreciate you. Let's stay in this fight for the planet. We can't give up. Okay, love you, bye.